Hello, my name is Patrick Laurie, and if you're watching this video, the chances are that you are taking part in our 2021 Nest Cameras project. So thanks very much for being involved in that. Um, this is just a really quick video to explain some of the setup um, stuff around these Bolligard um, Nest Cameras, which um, we have been sending out to people across Scotland over the last few weeks. I've had mine for about 10 days, about a fortnight. It's really good. I've really enjoyed working with it. Um, there's some really good detailed um, fine guidance on how to get the best out of these cameras. Uh, I'm not trying to replicate that here. We've also published some guidance on where how to get the best results when you're monitoring wader nests. Um, that's elsewhere. You can f read that and download that online. This video is really just to explain how to get started. And then I hope once you've got the basics down, you can then work out quite a lot of it through a combination of all the guidance and also just what, finding out what works for you. So um, let's just go quickly straight into the camera on this then. So as soon as you get it out of the box, you'll see that the camera's got everything it needs to get going. It's got a little black metal mounting rod, which you can screw into the bottom of the camera to help you set it up exactly where you want it. It's got a USB cable connector so that you can attach it to the computer, although you don't have to use this. And it also comes with an adjustable strap. Each camera is supplied with batteries and two memory cards. It's two memory cards so that you can run the camera continuously and you can swap the memory cards as you go along. Only one memory card is needed to run the camera at a time. It's fairly self-explanatory how the batteries go into the camera, but the memory card is clipped into a little slot on the left-hand side, as shown in the photograph. You should hear the memory card click when it's in the right position. Once the batteries are in place, you'll be able to turn the camera on using the button in the bottom left-hand corner. Move this to the setup position and the logo Bolly will appear on the screen. Now press the menu option. This is where you can change all sorts of different settings within the camera, whether you want to set videos or whether you want to take photographs, and you can set the resolution and the amount of photographs you take. Uh, you can adjust those by moving left and right and select the setting that you want. This may take a bit of experimentation, and we hope that you'll get a chance to play with your camera a little bit before it actually goes out to monitor wader nests for real. When you're happy with the settings, press Menu and then move the button in the bottom left hand corner to the on position. You'll be able to see if it's working by a red flashing light which appears on the front of the camera. This will stop after a few seconds to let you know that it's now working. You don't have to remove the memory card to get a preview of the footage you've caught. When you go back to check on your camera, move it down from the on position to the setup position and wait for the screen to load. The same Bolly logo will come up and then you can press the play button in the left hand corner. This will show you all the photographs you've taken and you can scroll through them by clicking up and down on the circular dial. If you've got video footage, you can watch the videos by pressing the camera button on the right hand side of the screen. As we said at the start, this is just a really basic video to get you started. Uh, there's some really good um, information in the manual that comes with the, the cameras. There's some good information online. If you get into trouble with these cameras, you can get in touch with the project. Um, we might not be able to, we might not be the right people to speak to if, you, if you're having technical issues, but we certainly know who, who you could speak to. So please keep in touch with us on that. Uh, from a personal perspective, the one thing I'd really emphasize is when you've set your camera, do check for that red light. Um, there is nothing, there is nothing more disappointing than uh, having your camera out on the hill for a couple of days and going back to realize that it's been switched off. Um, so only by playing with the camera and getting to know how it works it means that um, it, it's the, sure, the surest way of making sure that when we go live actually monitoring wader nests when the time comes, um, we know what we're doing and we'll, we'll, we can handle the technical side. We're producing some guidance and some more information on how to minimize disturbance around wader nests and there's some more technical stuff to come on that so watch this space but in the meantime have a play um, see how you get on and keep in touch with us.